Hello, anyone not still living in the 1970s. We interrupt your day to bring you this announcement. Husker Ninja is in the building. Hi, guys. Welcome to episode number 27 of the South Alabama Jaguars Online Dynasty right here on NCAA 14. Today, we got a big game here in week 12. It's a top 25 showdown with the division title up for grabs as we are in South Bend, Indiana to take on the number 19 Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Our only loss of the season came to Texas State a few weeks ago. Notre Dame has one conference loss as well. That came against UCF. And with only two games left for each team in the regular season, this is basically the game to decide the division is hello everyone and welcome to Notre Dame Stadium in South Bend, Indiana. We got top 25 football for you here today between the number 15 South Alabama Jaguars and the number 19 Notre Dame Fighting Irish. The division title is up for grabs here as Notre Dame will start with the ball. Books back to pass on first down throws. Got a man wide open. It's Mack across the 40 down to about the 45. And Elise Mack going to get again a 20 right there. They'll throw it on first down to Equinamius St. Brown. And St. Brown will pick up 12 more. So two plays, 32 yards already for Notre Dame so far. They're on second and eight. Book throws underneath again. There's St. Brown wide open. He'll pick up 11 more, and that's another Notre Dame first down. This Notre Dame offense moving right down the field. But on first and 10, Book is dropped in the backfield, loss of four. Ian Book never had a chance right there. They went read option, and it was snuffed out by the South Alabama defense. Later on, on third and three, Book dropped and sapped. Ian Book brought down by Tyree Turner. It'll be a loss of three. And so after giving up a lot of yards on this first drive, the South Alabama defense buckles down. They come up with the sack to force a field goal try. As the kick is up, and that'll be through the uprights, and so Notre Dame strikes first. They get three on their opening possession. As we have a studio update, you can see number five, Washington, holds on. They survived the upset bid from 2-8 and eight Utah. And they will win this one 35 or 34 27. Elsewhere, Georgia Tech upsets number 12, Pittsburgh 13 17. And Baylor takes down Oklahoma 31 38. Both Baylor and Oklahoma are now 5 and 4 on the season. And Georgia Tech is bowl eligible with their upset win. Our score here is Notre Dame 3, South Alabama nothing. As the Jaguar offense comes out for their first drive of the game. They'll give to Minner on second and two, and Trey Minner will pick up nine. He's got enough, and that'll be a South Alabama first down. Now he's second and seven here. They'll go triple option. That'll be pitched to Minner. Trey Minner's got a big gain, and Trey Minner will pick up 15 more down to the 45. Three carries, 32 yards for Trey Minner so far today. And Evan North got dropped as soon as he pitched it but it's going to be a big gain anyway later on now facing second in inches or back to pass out we caught by Rinkemeyer and Andrew Rinkemeyer cuts up field for a gain of eight. First down move those chains here for South Alabama as they face a third and eight later on here or back to pass throws underneath looking for a receiver screen that will be caught by Sam Harris but Harris is dropped immediately he's going to lose a yard now set up four, fourth down and eight, and then it'll be decision time here for South Alabama. Fourth and eight, Coach Christian Horn says, let's roll the dice and go for it. It's no man's land. Or throws, got him, man, it's caught, and that'll be Andrew Rinkemeyer. Gain of 11, first down, move those chains on fourth and eight. The senior tight end, the reliable target, comes up with the big catch to move the chains. They're on a third and ten. They'll throw. That'll be dropped by Kawan Baker. And the redshirt sophomores had himself a pretty good game. 
or a pretty good season rally, but a big drop right there. As with 14 seconds left, fourth and 10, Patterson comes on to try the field goal, and his kick is right down the middle. So two total possessions in this first quarter, and it is three apiece here through one in South Bend. Number 19, Notre Dame, and number 15, South Alabama, tied at three with the division title up for grabs here. We'll see who can win over the final three quarters. There's a third and two here early second quarter. Book, he's hit as he throws, and that one will bounce off a couple defenders and incomplete. Fourth and two, that'll force a punt. And the ensuing South Alabama drive, it's now third and ten. Or throws, got a man open. That's Kawan Baker, and Baker will pick up 12, and that's enough to move the chains on third and ten. They are now facing a third and seven from their own 35. Orth back to pass. Blitz comes and they'll get to Evan Orth and drop him in the backfield. That's a loss of seven. Dante Vaughn came free on the blitz. And Evan Orth never really had a chance. It'll set up fourth and 14. South Alabama's got a punt. Notre Dame and, the, and South Alabama remain tied at three as they are trading fugals. Then they trade punts. On third and ten, Books hit as he throws out a falling complete. And again, Notre Dame has to punt it away. Or they'll give to Foster. Foster, up the middle. Foster's going to break a tackle. He's got a block down the sideline inside the 10. And Denzel Foster's broken this tie. The third string running back with a big run right there. And just like that, South Alabama's back on top. They cannot take down Foster out about midfield. He broke one tackle. He was off to the races. A big touchdown run for the third string tailback to give South Alabama the 10-3 lead. That's a third and six here on the ensuing drive for Notre Dame. Book wants to go screen, and he's going to just throw that one away out of bounds. Incomplete. South Alabama gets the ball back. 2.40 to go here first half. Up by seven, a chance to make this a two-score game. And on first down, Rinkemeyer will make the grab over the middle for 10. And that will be enough for another South Alabama first down. Now down to a minute and a half to go here, second and 11. Orth, pressure comes, evades a sack, and Evan Orth going to scramble. And this will be a big gain. Orth will get out of bounds inside the Notre Dame 25. You can see right there, almost sacked. Pocket collapsing. Orth gets out of there, and he's going to scramble for a gain of 30. So on 2nd and 11, a big gain there on the scramble for Orth. And now it's 1st down. They're almost in the red zone. Now they are in the red zone as it's 3rd and 5 here. 15 seconds to go first half. Orth throws underneath. Caught by Kawan Baker down to about the 10. Gain of 8 right there for Baker. And still with 3 timeouts to South Alabama. Now they're going to... Face a third and goal here. Six seconds left in the half. Still have a timeout to work with if need be. They'll throw in a nice defensive play right there by Jalen Elliott. He dove in front of that pass and knocked it away. So on fourth and goal, Patterson going to try a second field goal attempt of the game. This one is also through the uprights. And so South Alabama strikes twice in the final three minutes of that second quarter. And they lead 13-3 to on, over Notre Dame at halftime. Two field goals and a long Denzel Ward touchdown have been the scoring here today for South Alabama. As it is a second and four here, they get the ball to start the third quarter. Read option, Orth trying to take this one to the sideline. Orth will break a tackle. Evan Orth, he's gone off to the races. And that's the second long touchdown run of the day for South Alabama. Or took the read option there, not even a minute into the second half. He broke one tackle out about midfield again, and then Orth was off to the races. Two long touchdown runs, the only touchdowns on the board here for either team. And just like that, we go from what was a 3-3 game, and now it's 20-3. Book throws, that'll be picked off! And the wheels are beginning to fall off here for Notre Dame. Intercepted by Bull Barge, the middle linebacker. 
And South Alabama in great field position to now go up four scores. They're already up 2017, or 20 to three rather. It's a 17 point game. They give to Trey Minner right up the middle. Trey Minner bouncing off tackles. He's inside the 10. Gain of 15. And it's hard to believe that this game was tied at three midway through the second quarter, but two long touchdown runs. And the tide has shifted dramatically. Third and goal now. Or throws. Caught by Baker, but he stepped out of bounds. Baker had the touchdown, but his momentum carried him out of bounds at about the two. And now it's fourth and goal here with 4.43 to go in the third quarter. And they're going to roll the dice and go for it on fourth and goal. Not much difference between up 17 and up 20. And Orth will take the snap, and he's going to... Plunge into the end zone on the QB sneak. So they roll the dice and go for it on fourth and roll, and it pays off as Evan North will get his second rushing touchdown of the third quarter. And just like that, it is now a 24 point South Alabama lead. As you take a look at this offense at a glance, and just a quarter ago, it was 3-3, three to three, and then midway through the second quarter, they got that big touchdown run by, De by Denzel Foster, and that pass will be intercepted. Bobby Fly going to return this one inside the five, and South Alabama with the first and goal again. Book has now thrown interceptions on back-to-back -back drives, and everything is unraveling here for Notre Dame. So that long touchdown run by Foster is shaping up to be the turning point of this game as it gave South Alabama the momentum. And Trey Minner on first and goal, he's going to plunge into the end zone, bounce off a couple tackles. A five-yard touchdown run for Trey Minner. And it's now 34-3. to Third and nine on the ensuing South, or on the ensuing Notre Dame drive, rather. And Book nearly throws his Third interception of this third quarter and sets fourth and down. The Fighting Irish will punt it away on second and eight. Or staying in the shot deep. It's caught by Baker at the 25. And Baker going to get that one inside the 20. Back in the red zone again is South Alabama. 51 yards on that reception for Kawan Baker as he just split the left side of the defense, got open deep, and that's a big gain right there. Now facing a second and four. They'll give the Minner up the middle. Trey Minner will pick up five more, and that's another South Alabama first down. As we have reached the end of the third quarter, South Alabama has turned this one into a blowout. Three on one to go here in South Bend. It's 34-3 South Alabama. And here on fourth and goal, early in the fourth quarter, they will settle for another field goal. And now it is 37-3 in favor of the Jaguars. This game is unraveled quickly here as on the ensuing drive, C.J. Sanders will actually make a nice diving catch to bail out Book there. And we'll see if Notre Dame's got a crazy comeback in them. But they're going to have to score and score pretty quickly. He'll go back to Sanders here on second and seven, and C.J. Sanders will pick up 20. First and ten, they want to go to the screen, and Adams, that play is blown up in the backfield. Josh Adams with nowhere to go. Tyree Turner there to make the play in the backfield. It'll set up a second down and 13 here for Notre Dame as they attempt to pull off the improbable here. Book will throw toward the sideline. Raff, rifle that one in there to Elise Mack, and Mack's got enough for the first down. Book will throw right up there to Boykin, and Boykin's got it down to about the 6. Gain of 15 there from Oz Boykin. They're on a second and roll, 626 left. Book throws, ends on caught by Boykin, and Notre Dame's finally found the end zone. It's now 37 to 9. And we'll see if Notre Dame goes for 2, if they elect for the extra point. They will take the extra points. And so now it's 37 to 10, still a 27 point lead here for South Alabama. As Harris will take this return out from deep in his own end zone, and he's going to get this one out to about the 40. 
Again, we take a look at the offense at a glance. 358 yards of offense for the Jaguars, only about 150 for Notre Dame. As before that last drive, they hadn't done anything since the opening drive of the game. Orth will keep this one himself on second and eight, and Evan Orth going to pick up 16. The quarterback with seven carries, 94 yards, and two touchdowns. It's a first down from the 43 of Notre Dame. They'll go play action. North will throw it. That'll be caught by Rinkemeyer. And the senior tight ends got this one inside the 30. Four catches, 43 yards for Andrew Rinkemeyer. North 11 of 18. He's been efficient through the air, but it's been the ground game that's done the most damage here. As Jordan McRae will get enough for the first down on the, on the sweep. And I'll pick up, you know, again, it's who will this change. Now later on, third and ten. Or throws underneath to Baker. Kawan Baker will make the catch, but he's dropped a couple yards shy of the first. Seven catches, 103 yards for Kawan Baker. Orth with 145 yards through the air. He's got about another 100 on the ground. And I would expect to see... South Alabama take another field goal here as Patterson's kick sails through the uprights. It is 40-10 South Alabama with 2.53 to go. And it's looking like they punched their ticket in for a rematch against Texas State in the conference championship game here in about three weeks. Second and seven here. We'll see if... Notre Dame can pull off some sort of miracle here as Josh Adams is blown up in the backfield right there. He'll make the catch and promptly lose four on the screen. It'll set up a third down and 11. All right, here you go, third and 11, 210 to go. Book's back to pass. He's throwing deep. That's going to be knocked away, incomplete. Jalen Thompson there to knock that ball away and... Notre Dame would just punt. They're just going to punt it away. And now it's up to South Alabama to try and run out the rest of this clock. As Orth will keep that on himself. Pick up 14. And Evan Orth is over 100 yards rushing. As that will do it for this game. This is a game that was 3-3 three to three with 4 minutes left in the first half. And then Foster got that 68-yard touchdown run. Notre Dame punted and South Alabama kicked the field goal as time expired. They got a big 69-yard run by Orth on the first drive about a minute into the third quarter, then interceptions, and everything spiraled out of control for Notre Dame. As Orth had about 150 yards through the air, no touchdowns, no picks, but it was the ground game who did the most damage here today. Minner had 110 and a touchdown. Orth had 102 touchdowns. Foster had 65 and a touchdown. So the running game, after not performing very well last week against UConn, definitely makes up for it here today in a 30-point win over number 19 Notre Dame on the road. It is the first win over a top 25 team here in the Christian Horn era. And... You know, they punch their ticket in. They get the rematch they wanted with Texas State. 0-3 so far in this dynasty. And we'll have to see if they can get that first win, send the seniors out with a conference championship here in a few weeks. But next will be Senior Day against Navy. And then they have a bye week in week 14 and 15. And then it will be the rematch. But no, or South Alabama wins this one over Notre Dame, forty to ten. That'll do it for me, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody.